And now it's time for our first innovator of the afternoon. From Innovata, the manager of business development North America, Debbie Edward Stover, and business manager One World Management Company, Petra Mayer. Innovata is a source of content and distribution solutions for the travel industry. Our company is best known for our aviation data and timetable applications that use this data. We have recently developed a around the world trip planner for the One World Alliance using our uh, dynamic route map that, uh, that can plot direct flights and connecting flights uh, for any airline and airport around the world. Uh, One World is the world's leading global airline alliance. Its 10 members and 20 or so affiliate members include some of the world's biggest and best, and most of you will know these, the American Airlines, British Airways, Japan Airlines, Qantas, Cathay Pacific, and LAN. Between them, they carry more than 320 million passengers a year and generate revenues in excess of $100 million. Uh, Petra Mayer will now demonstrate the um, Around the World Trip Planner. Thank you, Debbie. Well, the itinerary planner that I'm going to demonstrate was developed for one of our Around the World products, the One World Explorer. And the One World Explorer is probably one of the most uh, popular Around the World products that is in the market. Unlike other Around the World fairs, it's based on the number of continents the customer visits or travels through. So the pricing is based on the country of departure as well as, of course, the class that they travel in and how many continents they've come to. Some of the key benefits are that they can travel on any of our 10 member airlines or their 20 affiliates. Uh, they can fly up to 16 segments or use surface segments. They can travel in economy, business, or first class, or also upgrade to a premium economy where that's offered. And um, the travel can be anywhere from 10 days to one year in length. Now these, com these products are quite complex in their rules and the itinerary planner had to accommodate for that and had to take all these rules into, acco into account and guide the customer through the planning process. It can be accessed through our website and through the homepage there and I will show this in form of a video so that I can concentrate on what I'm saying to you. Um, once uh, you come to the itinerary planner page, it will either load it or you can load it in a, in a larger window because obviously you're going to look at a map that shows the whole world. You have choices of uh, selecting between multi-city itineraries or the round the world itinerary. Once the map loads, you can refocus the geographical area, you can zoom in, zoom out, you can really adjust it kind of to your, to your taste. For building a round the world itinerary, it helps to have pretty much the whole world in one glance. So I did zoom out all the way and I will start building an itinerary in this um, trip planner so that you can see how easy it is for a customer. You can either just click on the city dots or the city names and it starts building the itinerary to the right hand side of the screen. As the itinerary is built, it validates against the One World Explorer rules. You can also use the entry box on the top right to add city names or uh, city codes or airport codes. And once you're pretty much finished, you can click on finish itinerary and it takes you back to your home city. Now the itinerary planner is, uh, requires you to add all the flights because the flights are important for the rule validation. You can always check on the itinerary as you're building it in a review screen and see any messages that would have uh, um, piled up for you. Adding flights is very simple as well and it's uh, based on the database that Debbie mentioned. You can check flights either on a specific date or for a seven day review and then just choose the flight that suits you best and um, select the day. If you did the <coughs> seven day review, select the day you want to travel and uh, the flight is now in your itinerary. As you go through the whole itinerary, it, every time you select a flight, it will revalidate if everything is still okay. You can also add surface sectors just by clicking a little box and uh, it will validate if a surface sector at this point in time in your itinerary is valid. So once you've completed, basically the tool will tell you that you now are ready to book. Booking presently is either via one of the airlines or a travel agent. So it's not presently available to book it online because of the complexity of these uh, products. If um, once you're, you've have your itinerary ready, you can check it in the review screen. You will there also see any messages you have. You can
can print it or create a PDF document. You can adjust the itinerary, take cities out simply by clicking on an X and delete the city in your itinerary. You can uh, move them up and down in your itinerary. You can add new cities to it just by clicking on one of the city, add a new city name, and it will be inserted at that point in time. If you were to uh, do a, a, a choice in your itinerary building that is not valid, then you will automatically get error messages. In this case, the user would have not really traveled around the world. They went back to the US and have created a whole bunch of uh, error messages with that. So they now can check these error messages and then determine what's the best step for them to um, delete those errors. In this case, it was very simple. You can just simply take Dallas back out of the itinerary or move it into the correct spot where it should be. So the, the system needs to be very user-friendly and intuitive for somebody who might only use it once and or once in a blue moon, basically. The messages are always available in the review screen. Simple informational messages do not need to be cleared. Error messages have to be cleared to make that itinerary valid and bookable. The itinerary can then be saved with a specific name so that the user can always come back to it. They are saved on their system. Um, in this case, we've saved it under a name and you can find it under my, my itineraries or in the start screen where you start off when you load the tool. As I earlier mentioned, you can easily adjust the itinerary as well by moving a city up and down. You can either move the flags around or you can move it, uh, drag the city name or you can use the little arrows. So it's all very intuitive and what we've chosen to do in building this tool is that we've tried to make it uh, simple for different users who either want to type more or want to use the mouse more to uh, make it very user friendly. Now one of the drawbacks of course is that you presently cannot book this uh, itinerary online due to the complexities. However, together with Innovator and with Amadeus, we are in the process of developing a booking tool and it's based on this type of user interface I've just shown you. And in the end, once the itinerary is completed, all error messages are taken off, all flights are selected, the user will be able to click on a book button, which takes the whole information that has been collected in this building of the itinerary in a trip flow from Innovator to Amadeus to create a PNR that is then taking the itinerary or the, the space from the inventory of the airlines that are participating in this journey and one of the One World member airline will be issuing an e-ticket that the user will receive via email within a few days or even hours depending on the airline. So that's a very innovative step and we will be the first alliance to have a product like that. Any, any of you who are interested in the uh, Innovator database which includes uh, over 900 airlines, over 69,000 hotel uh, properties, rail data and 11,000 car rental uh, organizations, please stop by our desk and we can discuss those with you. Or if you would also be interested in uh, a vast uh, array of timetable solutions that we have, we would be more than happy to discuss those with you also. Thank you very much. Thank you. Innovata.